We start with a deadly head-on crash on Highway 4 near Yosemite National Park. Now a dad is calling for changes on that stretch of road. Three people were killed in the crash, but as ABC 10's Luke Clary reports, that dad says it all could have been avoided. Driving home to San Jose, the Tran family had just been on an unforgettable visit to Yosemite. We were in the valley and um, taking pictures and enjoying the scenery. But Quang Tran says their lives changed forever in just a matter of seconds when a car barreled at them head on on Highway 4. I immediately swerved the opposite direction and the other car did the same thing too. And this was less than two seconds from the time I saw the car and tried to swerve to the the impact happened. This is that moment again in real time at 60 miles per hour. A brutal collision that Quang didn't think he would survive. Right at the impact, uh, right before that, I knew I was going to die. But amazingly, after the crash, he's dazed but alive. Airbag smoke coming from his lungs. He dashes out of the car to check on his family. His wife and mother were seriously injured and had to be hospitalized. His father is still recovering a month later. Incredibly, his two girls were shaken, but not badly hurt. But as for the driver and two passengers in the other car, they did not survive. You believe this could happen again? I do think so, yeah. There's no way to avoid that. Looking back, um, Quang blames the road markings. He's traveled back to where it happened, making careful observations of the road. He believes the other car was passing legally over dashed lines that should be solid. There was mountains blocking the curvature, so it was all a bad combination. Two other cars were in that same situation. It would result in the same, a similar bad outcome. He wants an audit of the route from Yosemite to the Bay Area. You always have a fear of like the other direction could just hit you right head on. Um, and that would be like the worst nightmare. And that was the nightmare I lived. This video, he says, is evidence that Highway 4 needs a safety review. But more than that, it's just another reminder that um, things can change so fast. So true. Things can change so fast. Everyone, please be safe out there. CHP says they are awaiting the results of a toxicology report for the driver who caused the crash, but don't suspect DUI. The Tran family has a GoFundMe page to help with their medical expenses. We have a link to it on our website, abc10.com.